Okay, good evening. I want to welcome everybody to the uh, City Con city Council Candidates Forum. And uh, uh, one thing I do want to say, you know, as I begin here is I didn't have a chance to consult Andy Downs about today's event or uh, let him know what, how we're going to question this. But it's going to be just a, basically um, a chance for the candidates to respond to certain questions here that we're going to present to them. And the candidates will have a minute and a half or so to uh, answer the questions. And we want to just keep things moving along because we have a lot of people here that we want to hear, that we want to hear from. And, uh, you know, there's not a, a lot more forums going on here over the next month or so. And granted, yes, I do things a little bit differently. And this will be a little bit uh, different because there's so much division in this community going on that is often overlook that we are all part of the same family, even though we are Democrats and Republicans and, and independents like that. And the one thing that we do have in common here is to create a better Fort Wayne, one that has a stronger identity, an identity that's based on something real and not a, not a fairy tale. And, um, and we want to show that everybody has a voice. So as we begin here, I sent a message to most of the candidates that most of them did not get. So I will attempt to uh, reframe my first question that I do want you all to uh, put some thought to because I feel that you all are the bravest and probably the smartest and most courageous people in Fort Wayne because you have, uh, you you want to stand up and answer these questions. You want to uh, show a direction for Fort Wayne, and you feel that you have the right ideas to do so. So, the first thing I want to do is, is uh, since I was, uh, it was pointed out that I didn't ask a history question, and yes, I do feel that anyone seeking office in Fort Wayne needs to know the basis of Fort Wayne history. Otherwise, how can you lead this community if you don't know its history? There's a movement right now to bring everybody together, make everybody feel more inclusive. And I have no problem with that. But I feel that when you, when you do that, you've got to put this inclusive movement into a perspective in order to show where we came from and, and in order to show that if we're inclusive now, that means that once upon a time, we were exclusive. And who was exclusive? or who was not included in, in this uh, movement here? Indians and blacks. Now, I'm not trying to dig up old wounds here. I just want to keep things in perspective because unless you keep things in perspective, you always have confusion. So, going back a little bit of history here, in 1846, that's when we had the Indian Removal Act, when the Indians were carted off this land here, and there's not things that went on before that, but in 1846, that's when they disappeared. That's why here in Indiana, there are no Indians. <laughs> and a lot of people have gone through their lives wondering what happened, and they just never knew that. Anyway, that's 1846. Five years later, in the 1851 Indiana Constitution, Article 13, it said very clearly they didn't want blacks here, or if blacks did come here, that they are going to charge a $500 um, bond. I mean, even even if you wanted them to come here to work for you, they had to pay. You had to pay up to a $500 bond, or to travel through the state, you had to pay a $500 bond. But until recently, I found out what that bond money was going to be used for. That bond money was part of a colonization project that was going to send the blacks back to Africa, and I never knew that part of it. So I thought that was pretty good that they got Indiana got rid of the Indians by shipping them to Kansas and Oklahoma and their plan was to send the blacks back to Africa. And that's really never been, really been addressed. And I think that those, that foundation has been lingering and just smoldering and smoldering and smoldering so that each time we have an inclusion movement, it just uh, never was, you know, um, settled. So anyway, I, that's just my thought and uh, or an observation. And I did want you all to give me a comment on that. And I just wanted to just basically go around the table 